Hey everyone, Joe Mava here with Master Life by Design and I wanted to give you guys a different video style today. And this video comes from my Facebook Live I did a couple days ago. It got a lot of comments and shares and likes and so I figured this would be a value to my YouTube audience. And so if you're not on my Facebook, go ahead and find Joe Moffitt on Facebook and then follow me. I don't know if I can add uh, people as friends. I think I'm maxed out, uh, but go ahead and subscribe here. So and we also have a new subscriber, Heather Early. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. <sighs> we appreciate you. And if you subscribed and I didn't call your name because sometimes I don't get the updates and notifications, please let me know so I can give you a shout out on the next video. But today's video is don't let what others have done stop you. And so I'm giving you a real raw version. I don't have bullet points. I'm just free flowing because I, it's part of my 75 day master challenge where for 75 days I do three to five things with my community that I want to build these habits in. And video, doing a live video, whether YouTube or Facebook Live, that's one of them. So you're going to see that. Now, two things. One, I'm holding my one year young son, Zayden Michael, on me. I have this little carrier thing that we use. So you'll get to see that. And then <clears throat> you get to see a little quick little tour of my home, at least from the downstairs, because, well, I have challenges in life just like you. And there was a shower issue upstairs where water leaked all the way down through our hallway, uh, through our can light in our entryway. So there's a fan going with the ladder there. And so you guys can have some fun to kind of see what does Joe's house, what life look like um, when he's not behind the scenes in his YouTube office and, and going from there. So I'm excited to share this video with you. So please have fun, enjoy. Look, if you like it, give it a thumbs up comment, share this video with people. Most importantly, if you're new, subscribe so you can get these videos and hit that notification button so when they come out, you get access to them right away. Because I always found that when I was following mentors, whenever I had a video come out of theirs or an audio or something, is usually exactly what I needed in that moment or shortly thereafter. That's why devouring this type of content is so powerful. So anyway, let me know what you guys think of this video. I'm just free flowing on my Facebook Live, but if you'd like to see more let me know other than that you guys have fun enjoy the video like subscribe comment share do the, all that good stuff and here we go jump in have a good one see you guys hey everyone joe Moffat with master life by design mama is out with her friend that's visiting and i'm on dad duty and little guy sleeping uh <laughs> quick story before i jump into today's message i got done a workout jumped turned the shower on he let it warm up and I went to go get a, a, a towel and my clothes come back. The bathroom floor is flooded. And I'm like, great. And moments later, Christina's like, there's water dripping from our can light. And so I'm like, what the heck? So we're airing this out. <laughs> so this is uh, on for today, airing out our, uh, our, our uh, ceiling up here. It's not bad, but anyway. All right, so here's today's message. Have you ever been in a position where you, you've talked to people and maybe you know you listen to them and hear the challenges that they went through and the heartache and the, the pain that they went through and think to yourself, man, I didn't do that. I never had to go through that. And then you hear about how they turned it around and how they became so successful or abundant or found the love of their life. And you're sitting there like, I want that. <clears throat> I haven't had what they went through. I'm not having what they have. Or maybe you have what they have, but you didn't have to go through that. And you're like, oh, my story is like, ugh. And here's what I want you to know. Is that your story is different than everyone else's for a reason. Right, Your story is so that your story could speak to someone that needs it down the line. If we all had the same story or exact same path, then no one would be inspired by that. And you do not need to apologize for what you have went through and what you did to get to where you are today. Most I remember I used to apologize to people all the time for you know what I've done and how I showed up. And I think there's an element of where I needed to if I didn't in the past, but... It's time to own our freaking power. It's like you, I, I've heard people go through and say, oh, I've been through this challenge or that challenge. And I'm like, man, I didn't go through that. Like, is my story good? You know, do I deserve success? I never went through anything like that. And it's just, and I catch, I caught myself over the years being like, no, 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 no. 
I don't need to go through what they went through because what I went through is going to inspire so many others. It might not have been that same path, but I've gone down a path that has been challenging. And so don't allow someone else's story, someone else's path to determine whether you're worthy of success or not. Because that's what happens to most people. And then they apologize when they try to tell their story of what they did. And, you know, I, sorry, guys. I know this isn't as good as, you know, Steve Harvey's story. It's like, F Steve Harvey's story. You're telling your story. And you're telling your story because God's put someone in your life or someone's watching your videos or reading your book or checking out your YouTube channel or Instagram because they need to hear that. Because they're going to hear that. They're going to believe in themselves. They're going to take their path. And they're going to do something amazing for this world. All right, so never apologize for your story if you think it's not good enough, not challenging enough, you didn't go through enough this or that, like enough pain. It's like, why do we have to measure ourselves against pain and struggle? Like, the greatest thing I want is my boys to be like, I didn't grow up struggling. I grew up with incredible parents who had a great marriage. I had, <clears throat> I had whatever we needed. We had great experiences. My parents took care of friends that were less fortunate. Like we, and then they grew up. They grow up and they become extremely successful. And they sit back and say, "I didn't need to go through it. I learned the principles, and I learned manners, and I learned respect, and I learned values, and I lived them. And look at my life." I want to get to a generation where people are living their values, where they're living their purpose, where they're not using their past as an anchor to why they can't succeed. I want them to succeed and say, I just kept doing the principles. I kept living my values. I kept showing up this way and look what life it led me to. Why can't we have a generation of that? Why can't that happen? Why do we need to be like, oh, I grew up in the hood and, you know, I got jumped and this and that or, you know, I, I was broke and in debt. It's like, fuck, why? Why? Yeah, there's an element where we're all going to struggle. We're all going to have a challenge. But there's a point where you're like, dude, stop using that as a fucking excuse and crutch on why you're not where you want to be, why you're not living your values, why you're not accelerating, why you're not having success in your health, in your wealth, in your relationships. Like, stop the fucking pity party and own your shit. Take responsibility and go out there and fucking dominate. You, If you deliver, if you do Uber, be the best fucking Uber driver out there. If you, if you work at, you know, uh, Walgreens, be the best fucking person at Walgreens. If, you, if you, you're a CEO of a company, be the best CEO of that company. Dominate your fucking space. Don't lower your standards. We need to raise up. And your story's for a reason. You needed to go through those pain points in life at whatever degree so that you could become who you are today. And if you're not learning your life lesson from what patterns keep repeating in your life, then get a fucking clue that what you're doing isn't working. You haven't learned your lesson. If you don't pass third grade and you're 17 and you're in third grade, get a fucking clue. The content you're learning in third grade, you're, you don't get. you got to learn it. So don't ever apologize for your path. Don't compare your your past to someone else's. Oh, you know, Joe was in $40,000 credit card debt three times. He was cheated on and, you know, this and that. And like, come on. Who cares? Like, who cares what you compare? Don't compare your story to mine. Tell your story. We need more people that actually have shared their story, their challenges. But more importantly, not just their challenges, but how to overcome them. That's what we need. We need people to tell. Like when I, I, you know, people, sometimes there's some people on Facebook that just sometimes just piss me off. But <clears throat> sometimes I'm like, man, I don't do, I don't share just my highlight reel. I keep it real. And so when we have a challenge, I share with you guys. I share with my audience the challenges that we go through. But most importantly, I don't leave them without telling you how we overcame them. What's the point of telling you my shit if I, if I just wanted to throw up on you guys, that's not the point. That's not why you guys tune into these videos, right? So anyway, with that being said, tell people your solutions. So don't tell people about what you're going through until you overcome and have a solution, period. Once you do that, then share your story because people need to hear. And when people think you're at the top or you're climbing up the ladder, we're all climbing up the ladder and no one will ever fucking make it or get there or actualize, self-have, self-actualization, very few, right? And so it's like, dude, you're going to be on this journey for a long time, own your shit, you're going to have challenges, overcome it, know it, right? And I, I caught myself getting pissed off when our um, our leak 
started happening when the water bathroom upstairs was leaking water down to the downstairs and i was just like Ugh. but i caught myself and we overcame it and so we got a solution so bam now i'm telling you hey i'm sharing the story because we overcame it so anyway don't apologize for your fucking story don't think oh it's not good enough it's not challenging enough what you've gone through is enough okay don't worry about what other people do worry about what you've done and share how you've overcome it and if you haven't overcame your story and your challenges then go ahead and break through and if you need support and you want to you know talk about coaching one-on-one with me or my you know one of my coaches then go ahead reach out and we'll uh we'll send you the coaching application page and you can check it out and we'll have someone give you a ring and see if you're a good fit. So, but own it. Don't ever apologize. Cool. All right. This guy's out. So with that, I'm going to let you guys rock and roll. Have a great rest of your weekend. Enjoy your Labor Day tomorrow and then we'll pick up and we'll rock on the next one. All right. Talk soon. See you guys.